our next guest is, first of all, he's alive, and we're glad yeah. that you're here. Because well, normally, normally he's dead yeah. uh, whenever he, he makes a TV appearance. Yeah. But um, he's known as the bad guy from movies like Spider-Man, Charlie's Angels, Jurassic World. You can see him now in the action the action comedy called American Ultra. Michael Papa John. I make all Alive and well, we must say. Oh, this, all, this all began for you... At a what, at home plate, swinging a baseball bat, like you were a baseball player. Right? Yeah, I was, I'm actually from Birmingham, Alabama. I went to junior college in uh, Florida, and then I played baseball at Louisiana State. Is that you? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, we hope that day so. I had oh. a panic Weird attack. Well, that could have so. been him, the catcher. <laughs> but wow, that's no, I was that's uh, playing in the College World Series. I played center field in '86 and '87, and uh, they shot a movie down in Baton Rouge called Everybody's All-American, and they were looking for LSU athletes that were finished playing but were still in college. Yeah. And to be part of the movie and be football players. And uh, I tried out and got to be one of the football players. And then they, Taylor Hackford said, hey, if you take hits or deliver hits, we'll pay you more money. And since I had $11 in my checking account, <laughs> oh, um, look at that. I started wow. taking hits for uh, Dennis Quaid. And that night, there's about 15,000 people in the stadium, and he pulled, he gave me that trophy. It says, uh, world's greatest hit man. And uh, he said, Papa John, he pulled me off to the side that night, said, Papa John, you're, you're a really athletic guy, and you're, you're, you're a nice guy. I think you should be a Hollywood stuntman. So uh, I wouldn't be talking to you here now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. yeah. So when you're talking about taking hits, you're talking about taking hits. I thought you were taking, talking about batting the ball out of the park, but it's not. You were taking hits for No, it's kind of like playing your strengths. The business kind of came to me, and uh, I started taking these football hits. And then uh, Coach Skip Burtman was a big influence on – he was my coach at LSU and encouraged yeah. me to go out to California and give this a shot. And I'm big at playing. I played in every softball league there was in Hollywood just to meet Did people. <laughs> and I met a lot of people. And, um, and But I, I notice you don't have a limp. Yeah, have you been <laughs> injured? Have in you been hurt at all? Do you – uh, I actually, I've been hurt a couple times. Uh, one story that pops out is I got uh, did a major fight scene with Cameron Diaz in a movie called Charlie's Angels. The director yeah. was Mick G. Yeah. And uh, oh, I remember uh, that. Yeah, wow. Her hair smelled great that day, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. But I got kicked in the face and um, just doing the fight and my jaw kind of felt kind of funky. And the paramedic on the set goes, "Hey, you need to go go down to UCL Medical Center and just get it checked." So I went down there and. Two in the morning, I fell out the paperwork, kicked by Stiletto Hill. And uh, so they finally got to me at three in the morning. I'm in Westwood at UCLA. It's a college town. And finally, the doctor, I see the doctor, and there's another couple walking in. And I looked at the doctor, and I didn't want to know what the couple, who the couple was. It goes, uh, Michael, we're with the spousal abuse. We want to talk to you about your significant other or what happened <laughs> with uh, the hill. And I said, no, 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 I'm a stuntman. I was working with Cameron Diaz on this major action movie. And, and the doctor looked, no, the doctor looked at the couple uh, and goes, he's been drinking. Oh. Uh. So it took me a couple minutes to talk myself out of that, that and, and they finally believed me. And then I, I got hurt on a uh, Dublin Adam Sandler and, Water boy, I just got hit real hard in the ribs, and that was kind of a moment, like an aha moment, where I was going to transition into an actor and move my mouth and make money. And and, and, that, and then was that the well, transition for you? Was that the that was? Uh, I guess in pain, things okay. happen, and I was in pain, and I knew that's what I wanted. To do. Right. Something had to happen. And yeah. America Ultra, American Ultra, is what did happen. You got Jesse Eisenberg and Topher Grace, Kristen Stewart here. So, what's your role? Yeah. What do you play? Topher Grace. Wow, he's I play. Uh, he's my superior, and whatever he tells me to do, I do or try to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, he showed up on the first day on the set and was just so prepared. And and when you start working with people like that, it was a, a fun film. It's like one of my favorite deaths. It's a slow motion death and. Uh, and it was <laughs> was a real, your favorite death? <laughs> Is that what it said? <laughs> slow. Well, I don't. Uh, but working on that uh, that movie and uh, Connie Britton, I actually work on Nashville with Connie and mm -hmm. and to be able to see her in the role that she's in. And I'm just a military guy that just tries to do it right and everything I do is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to we want to play a little game with you because I made a joke yeah. about how, you know, you're killing me because um, that's typically what's happening to you in, in movies. We, we want to see if you can recall the movies and, and we'll give you some clues and tell us how you how parent. you died. How you yeah. died, oh, okay? okay? I've never done this before. All right, yeah. here's your first hand. The okay. main character in this movie originally appeared in 1962. And your death scene in this movie had to be filmed twice because of birds. Uh, I killed Uncle Ben and Spider-Man, put the money in the bag. Right, okay. You and killed him. 
there you go. You got Sex it right. Sexton Robertson, yeah. you, you got killed. And Sam Raimi goes, we got to do another one because the pigeons didn't fly correctly. You know, <gasps> so. Oh, so you had to die Look again. Look at you. Wow, well, I've never seen that photo. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Here's the Next other one. one. Uh, this movie is part of an espionage franchise that earned almost $1 billion at the global box office. Uh, Born Legacy with Jeremy Renner. You were in that fight scene yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah, he was an Is intense guy. He showed up very prepared. I've never uh, looked at a fight scene the same after working with him. He broke it down like an acting scene. Pretty amazing guy. Right. Okay. Um, that. How'd you die in that one? You went through a window. Did you go uh, through a window? No, I'm a no. good FBI guy, you think. And I put the uh, gun to the girl's head, and I end up being the bad guy. And he comes out of the closet and does a lot of punches on me and throws me over the table and slam my cabinet? head into the dishwasher. dishwasher. Oh, yeah. that's okay. right, right, yeah. that's yeah. right. All right. And then he jumped out the Here window. Here we go. With that an great actress, right. yeah. an right. actress in this movie is also a famous singer known for such songs as Save the Best for Last. And this movie also stars an actor whose tagline is, I'll be back. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger's I'll be back, but yeah. oh, uh, Terminator. No, yeah. no, no. She well, said, she say, the, no, you didn't get that one right. Come on, man. Come on. Eraser. <laughs> what? Eraser. Eraser. Oh, and yeah. That was yeah. Do you remember how you died? In oh, yeah, wow. This most, is most bullet hits I ever had. Uh, that was it was a song. pretty, uh, I felt like Jimmy Kahn in uh, The Godfather <laughs> that night. <laughs> wow. Okay, it's no, me. Last okay. one. Last one. Uh, is that, oh, wow, this, you really missed one. This movie includes a chance encounter at a local bar. An actor in this movie shares a name with a country in the Caribbean. This is. This is oh, a, you guys, come one. on, man. I mean, I, I, I'm, I don't even know the, you know, I'm, I'm the I have it right here. The, uh, <laughs> this is a great actor who won the Academy Award and then this, did the spin. He was in Jerry Maguire. Um, you yeah. show me the money. Show me the money. Uh, oh, oh, Cuba Good Jr. Yes. There you yes. go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Seven bullet shots to the stomach, and I was really happy the way I hit the wall real hard, and I collapsed my body, and I slid down the floor. I'm real happy about it's that. Called yeah. It's called the hit list. It's called the hit list. I love that. I love that. Oh, yeah, best shot. I got all shot and blown up. Good all for right. you. Well, we're glad that you're here, and we're glad you're healthy, and you've transitioned, and now you yeah. talk. Yeah. No, it, it's great. I actually moved my family to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I live there now, and I've uh, been in the business almost 30 years, and I love what I do. I feel like a little kid, like I'm seven or eight, and it's Halloween. What are you going to be, a cowboy or an Indian? So it's oh. a lot of fun. Good for you. Uh, be sure you check out Michael. He'll be in American Ultra. It's in theaters right now. Want to go in the kitchen with us? You like yeah. street food? It's safe. It's safe. Yeah, let's yeah, do a fight safe. scene. Okay. Okay, okay, okay perfect. Kitchen. We're going to go in You're going to die. Okay. I'm going to be making a delicious Thai street chicken. <laughs>